Hello veterans and families. This is video number 82 focused on mobile app of ECHS. This is the fourth video in the series of mobile apps. This video will cover two important features. One is how to reset your login pin, which is used for the ECHS mobile app. The second important thing, which you will be using it many times in the future as well, how to log in to what we call it as e-clinic. Let's see the details. One advisory at the end. Video number 79. I spoke about installation of the mobile app. In case you have already installed an O in the in the previous or year, months back, uninstall that app before you reinstall the new version of the mobile app. It's quite important. Let us see about resetting the pin. If you remember in video number 79, I covered how to register as a new user using the mobile app, which is this particular option. So if you see the video 19, video 79, it will show you how the registration was done, which basically allowed you for your card, whichever is a 64 KB card, when you enter that, it expected you to set a four digit login pin this is required in order to log into the e-clinic okay that's what is this video in case you have you, you want to reset this pin okay uh, that means you don't remember this login pin you can always reset it let's see the steps when you installed this mobile app both for Android and uh, Apple phones, you will have an icon of this beneficiary ECHS app here, beneficiary app it is called as. This icon will be there. Click on this icon. In the future also, whenever you use mobile app, you have to click on a particular icon, which is this is this icon. When you click on this icon, I call this as a home screen. Always you will land up here. Okay. So let us now take how to do that for the resetting pin. Click login to eClinic. When you click on this login to eClinic, you will have the screen which will be visible. Now you don't know because you are expected to enter the card number and four digit pin. You have forgotten this. So that is where this particular video will help you. There is one option which is called as reset this pin. When you say reset pin, it means Reset four digit mobile pin. That's what it means. Moment you click on it, you will have this simple screen with two fields. Enter your smart card number, only the number, 12 digit number. Enter the registered mobile number. This registered mobile number, I discussed it in video 79, which is always used to log into ECHS 64 KB card site. Okay, this is what you gave it when you even applied for this card. If you have not changed it, that is that number. No other number you have to use. Put this number. So two things, two fields, your card number, 12 digits, registered mobile number. Click on reset pin. Moment you click on it, you will have a window like this, which will have a blank field here. You will receive an OTP as an SMS to this number, registered mobile number. So enter that OTP and click on verify OTP. Okay. Immediately you will get a message confirming valid OTP. Kindly set four digit pin for further use. So now you are, it is checked everything. Card number is okay. Registered mobile number is okay. OTP is matching. You got this message. After that you say okay. And then it will allow you to set a new pin. New four digit pin. Okay, and then click OK there. 
you will get another message which will say you have successfully exchanged your pin or pin no more password it is only four digit pin and it will expect you to log in again with the new pin so the steps are log login enter click reset pin enter these two fields enter the otp and then it will show you a field where you can enter two times the new pin and say submit you will get a message confirming that your pin has been reset it's quite simple very useful in case you have forgotten this pin you can use this option so this option as you can see cannot log in but outside before login itself you can reset the pin and it expects an otp as a validatory information in order to reset the pin let's see the next one so now you have a pin you remember the pin always write it down and keep it no ensure your family also knows for each card number what is a corresponding pin because each card which you are registering you can have a separate pin in a separate mobile however registered mobile is, is just one which you used it in the 64 kb card site so let us see how to log in and log out you will be using this very often so that's why i am making this as a separate presentation or a separate video so now you have registered it click on this icon in your home screen okay moment it comes you will get this home screen click on login to eclinic enter the smart card number which is 12 digit enter the four digit mobile pin you have already set it you remembered it enter it otherwise you can reset it enter that number enter this captcha here as it is shown it should be capital it is also capital and just login click login moment you login you will always find this screen this i call it is called as a dashboard okay this is different from this screen so this is what is a login screen i will not discuss all these things now because there is a separate video i am going to launch and um, now you have logged in here and probably you will be using all these features let us say you have completed login you have completed this particular use of this particular information you know information in any one of these particular option you want to log out and go back to the home screen there is a button on the right you can see this like a power button click on it moment you click on it automatically you will be back to the home screen so there are moment you put your um, click on this icon you will end up in home screen always when you when you click on login in this particular screen if you click on it you will get this screen enter these details and say login you will always land up in this screen this is the login to e clinic screen dashboard screen it is called as and click on this power button icon you will land up again into the logged out but on the home screen i hope this is clear it will be very useful as we go to the next videos in the coming days you will always land up with this two three screens always please hit subscribe button in the youtube video when you watch this will also help you to get notification when i launch the new videos in the future a quick preview of what is the upcoming video video number 83 very interesting video it will be using your mobile anytime anywhere after you log into e clinic we just discussed how to log into e clinic the following three features i'll be discussing in video number 83 notification message from your parent polyclinic how to change login pin without an otp what is a polyclinic and regional center information helping hands for echs i am commander santanam this is a volunteer effort to help veterans and families across india in fact globally today any veteran anywhere in india or abroad can access my facilities one is my web portal other one is my youtube channel between these and also a flyer 
which I have launched. Please visit my web portal at least once a day. You will definitely get a benefit and you will be able to get answers to 100% of your queries on ECHS. Now, if you still need help, send me a message on this number. If you have an emergency, you wish to you know, get some assistance, you are most welcome to call me. This is an important um, request for me. I am I'm making all these videos so far 82 with this is to empower every one of veterans and families so that you have the knowledge of ECHS and try and get the best service from polyclinics, empanel hospitals, service hospitals, etc. You know, you will know your rights and also you will know with confidence you will be able to ask for that service. Okay. My request, in fact, humble request, please do not copy or reproduce the contents without my permission. I have taken a lot of pain to make these videos. You are most welcome to share to every veteran or a family without any problem so that they are also able to benefit. I appreciate your support. In conclusion, my special thanks to the three of them here for bringing this mobile app video to life. But for MDECHS, Director SNA at Central Organization ECHS and Director Regional Center Delhi 2. But for them, this video wouldn't have been brought out. My special thanks to all the three.